Hi, I'm Jim Stout, and welcome to Alchemy 101. I generally find the best way to learn a software synthesizer, or any synthesizer for that matter, is just to start messing with it. So what we're gonna do in this course is we're gonna build a few sounds from scratch. We're gonna go over through the signal flow, explore some of the different types of resynthesis uh, in here, explore some of the things that you can do with samples, and some creative ways to use samples. So let's get started. First thing to notice when Alchemy comes up, there are three main views. We've got Browse, we've got Simple View, which is basically just all the performance controls, and then Advanced View. We are going to spend a majority of our time in the Advanced View. So in the Advanced View, there are four main sources, A, B, C, and D. And there's also a Morph section that'll allow you to blend between these four sources. Then there's the global section, and this is kind of the master section in which all these four sources flow through. Now, I think the first thing that we should do is let's make a basic string pad sound. Now, we want to fatten this thing up a bit. We want to make a nice, lush string pad. So we're going to take a page out of the JP8000 book. JP8000 was a synthesizer that came out in the late 90s, and it introduced the Super Saw waveform. And one of the great things about uh, virtual analog is you can multiply waveforms through DSP. So we're gonna add some waveforms here. Let's go to seven. Now, as you can hear, you can also make some wild, crazy EDM leads and things like that. But for our purpose, we wanna make a string sound. Okay, so the next sound we're gonna make is going to be kind of like a disco bass line sound. So it's gonna be a very staccato kind of uh, bass sound. So, let's go back up to File, let's go to Clear, and we are starting off with, with a blank slate again. Let's go to Source A. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna tune this down two octaves. So we're gonna take the semitones, go down two octaves. Let's do the same thing we did in pad sound. Let's increase the number of oscillators and you can hear it. And this time, let's use the global filter on here. So if you go back to global, there are two filters here. Now these can be run in series or parallel as well. So, and you can actually mix between the two, which is quite interesting. So they can run independent of each other or they can be run one into another. So for this example, we are just gonna use one basic filter. Let's turn it down, turn down the cutoff. Let's add some resonance. Now, to make that staccato sound, <clears throat> we need to adjust the envelope. Again, not that kind of envelope. Let's go down to our ADSR section down here. And we are gonna turn down the sustain. We'll increase the release a little bit. So we start to have that staccato bass sound. So we have a fast attack, no hold, a little bit of decay, low sustain, and a little bit of release but we need the filter to react to that as well. Let's add a modulation so we can control click, add modulation, and we want to assign this to the envelope. So we're go we are going to assign this to ADSR1, which is the envelope we currently have. Add some more, and we can actually change the depth of it. and we're pretty much there. If we wanna add more to it, let's go to source B, do the exact same thing, and let's keep it on the basic waveforms. Let's add a sine wave, and this'll give us some real deep low end. 
You might not be able to hear it if you're listening to it on a laptop, but again, we're gonna tune this down two, sem uh, two octaves, so it's 24 semitones. And since it's all running through the same global filter and the same envelope, we don't really have to do much from that point. So here's where the fun begins. We can go to ARP. Let's turn ARP on. Let's go mode. Let's do two octaves. Disco baseline. Okay, so for our next sound, we're gonna create um, what I call the 80s stack sound. Now, back in the 80s, uh, people used to have these massive keyboard rigs, and they, the only way they could get these really, really huge sounds is, is they would MIDI them all together and just layer them. So they would have like, you know, DX7s and Jupiters and all kinds of things just mitted up and layered, make these massive 80s stack sounds. And, and they generally consisted of, you know, bells and choirs and samples. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that exact same kind of thing in alchemy. And we're gonna treat each one of the four sources just like their own synthesizers. <laughs> 